Hey guys, this is Heke Roche. So I'm going to be talking about something that really, really riles me up to absolutely no end. And that is people that try to tell you that this that this certain way is the right way and if you do anything that's outside that preferred area, you're not doing it right. So, when I was first in the craft, I was lucky, um, I had a dresser, and I used that as my first altar. However, when I moved, years and years and years later today, to this particular place, when I moved into here, there was a a bookshelf type of thing that I used as my altar. I cleansed it, consecrated it with what I had, and I used it as an altar. When I moved into this room, I did not want to bring it in with me, so I decided to use the floor as an altar. And the reason that I decided to do that is because I did not have a lot of money. I barely had $5. Um, so one of the things that I when I know and I never um, I read about this in a couple of Wicca books about no, don't use D4 um, because you don't want things to knock over but I've noticed one person who has a food of and apparently she has a little thing that kind of rises up and that's where you know, her stuff is at. Um, I recognize it from another piece of furniture that our local uh, can save money store uh, sells. One of the things I want to say about floor altars. When you are, when you do not have a lot of money, Say your parents are, are supportive of your parents, but they only don't they don't give you a lot of money. Sometimes you have to use what you have in, in your room, and if that is uh, a tote, if that's a tote, that's a tote, a plastic tote. If it's the floor, it's the floor. You have to use what you have available. Um, of course, most teams will probably have a dresser in place, but the point I'm trying to make is if you don't have, like, I don't have a dresser, room. I had one, but I threw it away because it was falling apart. Um, I want to have a larger altar, but I do not, um, I do not have the money for a big table or a long table. Um, and um, our house is about ready to be fumigated for bed bugs and for you guys go, oh my god. Um, it's a citywide problem. It is. It's a citywide problem. It seems like most all the houses have them. And if you happen to move into a house that doesn't have them, you're lucky. So this is something that fumigators make a lot of money off of. Um, So it's it's a it's a problem that was waiting on us when we moved in. So once it's fumigated and once inspection comes, I'm going to have a full altar. I mean, I'm going to be raw and thrifty. I'm not going to be buying um, the kind of stuff that I've been showing because I won't have the money. Um, after October, um, we won't have a lot of money. And I'm basically going to have to pick up what's off the ground, uh, things like that. And I don't mind doing that. Um, but, but people will criticize other people for having floor altars. Oh, look, that's not how you're supposed to do it. That's not proper. That's not accurate. I, I, I hate to be brutal, but fuck them. Seriously, fuck them. If, 
Herman French, um, if you do not have money for a table, if you do not have, you know, if you're barely scraping uh, to buy your ultra tools or to buy your supplies and your candles and stuff like that, you, you, you don't have, first of all, you don't have the money for a table. If, if you are spending 98% of your money on bills and food, so you can roof over your head, you keep your lights on, you keep your water running, all this stuff, you're not going to have money for a table. You're, you're barely going to have money for two or three dresses. You can not have a So you're, you're keeping a little bit of what you do have left set aside for your craft, and you really, um, you really don't have the money for a table. So if you don't have the money for a table, my advice is you use the four. If you have people have a problem with that, well, they don't need to watch your videos. Um, but I'm just giving people advice. I'm, I'm, I'm giving them at the same time. I don't like people that tell other people what to do and all that. I don't. I don't like people that say, that's not how it's done. Oh, I'm sorry, but uh, you have money and the person watching the video doesn't. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. <clears throat> so, that's what I have to say on it. Um, I am going to give, once my, once the, the fumigations happen and the inspectors happen and all of this, I am going to actually do a video and I'm going to actually show you guys me putting together my um, floor altar. I do have some additions. I will be adding to it all the time. But that is when I get money. That is when I get finances and things like that. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a very, very wonderful day. I hope that my video has helped. And um, I'm going to be back. Uh, I got... Um, I got two deliveries coming in, or no, three deliveries coming in. I got Yankee Candle Company, um, Yankee Candle Company, and I got two from the Voodoo Shop. My stuff did not come 15 days, um, like the last one, so I'm hoping it will come in tomorrow. Um, I will actually be totally shocked if mail is running today. If mail is running today, then I may have a delivery, I don't know. But I definitely won't have one from Yankee because the delivery the, uh, the shipping date is tomorrow, and I don't know how long it's going to take to come from Ohio. So, yeah. I almost worked at Yankee Channel, but I almost know. So, um, I'll see you guys then. Until next time, may be blessed.